All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the logout method. But one of the things that you may have noticed with the login view is the fact that, well, it's going to attempt to log in whether or not the user is logged in, right? So if we already have our user logged in, should we even see things like this? And of course, the answer is probably not. Now, there's two different ways on how we could solve this. First off, we can say if request.user.is underscore authenticated, we can return render request and maybe say accounts dot um, already dash logged dash in dot HTML with empty context. You could totally do something like this. Now, the request dot user dot is authenticated is really cool. We'll come back to looking at the request user in a little bit, but the authenticated method is really just checking, hey, did all of this stuff already happen on this session on this browser for this user? And that's a quick little method on changing them to a different template if that's the case. But instead what I can do is I can actually use that request is authenticated on the template itself. So inside of login, I can actually come in here and say if not request.user.is authenticated and then put end if here and then say else, maybe something like you're already logged in, would you like to log out, right? And then this is where we would actually go to maybe a logout view of some kind that we are gonna create in just a moment, right? So I think this makes a lot of sense, right? You don't wanna log in a new user when you already have a user logged in, okay? And so the reason request.user works on a template in the first place as a little sidetrack is if we go into the settings into templates, we have this thing called context processors in here and notice that there is auth and request in here. So the request itself is already attached to all templates. I didn't have to add that in as a context variable at all, anywhere, any template at any time, as long as it's a standard Django template, that's pretty cool. And that's because of this right here. Auth is also very similar to that. And in fact, we can use simply just user, but I'm gonna stick it in with request that user just to remember that yes, we can absolutely use the request user. Okay, cool. Um, so now that we've got that, we can try to go back to our login. And I, I assume that my user is still logged in. And so enough they are, would you like to log out? So we go to log out and of course, this page has not been created yet. So let's go ahead and create that now. So the thing I'm gonna start with is the template. So logout.html. And what I want in this template is very similar to login. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and paste this, save it. And now it's sort of the reverse of this. So if the user is authenticated, then I'll go ahead and do some sort of data here. I'm gonna get rid of all the inputs because we don't need those inputs. Um, but instead what I'll say is something like, are you sure you want to log out? And yes, log out, right? So the reason we have this is to just verify that they didn't accidentally go to the logout URL, right? I'll explain what that means in a moment. Next, we're gonna go ahead and say, you're not logged in. Would you like to log in? Simple, right? So it's sort of the reverse of what the login does. No surprise there. Okay, so now that we have this form here, let's go into our view and actually handle it. So again, we're gonna go ahead and say if request.method equals to post, this is where we're gonna run a command or a function called logout on the request. And so logout needs to be imported just like authenticate and log in. And so this would actually log out the request. In other words, it doesn't need the user this time because the user would already be authenticated and then it's gonna return a redirect to wherever we'd like. In this case, it actually makes sense to re return them to you know, log in or log back in if they, logged, if they just logged out. Of course, we don't have to do that because of how our logout method works. You could also just say uh, logout su successful, but the idea of just saying you're not logged in makes a lot of sense regardless of when you actually go to this page or view that data. Okay, so the reason 
that we have a request method of post is because, well, yeah, we totally could call this logout anywhere on any request. It would automatically just boot that user. So the other part of this is you could use it on maybe they submitted a form 10 times and you don't want them to do that. You could log them out and maybe give them some sort of message saying, hey, you've been logged out because you were doing things maliciously. So it's, this logout function is very useful um, all across the board as long as we have that request in there. And the other part, of course, like I said before, is if they accidentally go to this URL, we don't want to always log them out. That's kind of annoying. Um, okay, so now that we've got this, let's go ahead and implement it into a URL. Of course, just like our login view, I'm going to go ahead and import it with parentheses again. And there we go. So we've got a logout view. And then I'll create the path for it. So log out and log out view. Great. So now let's go back in here. And there it is. Are you sure you want to log out? Yes, log out. And it brings me right back into login. And if I go into the admin, yet again, I am logged out. Pretty cool.